Hello, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. Welcome to our live stream. Now, we talk about all things plumbing. So if you're new here or even if you're not, if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. If you like value, if you like having your opinion heard, if you love hearing the opinion of others, if you think this is the craziest freaking thing in the world we could ever talk about, and you love your customers and you want to get better, this is the place to be because this is what we talk about. This is how we do it. And this is where we have fun. And today, as you can see, I have a special guest in the house. We're actually talking about the Milwaukee sewer inspection system. My guest today, Mr. Nick, how are you? Doing great, Roger. I am happy to be here in beautiful Dallas, Texas from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, looking forward to talking about inspection cameras. Now, now, why would anybody live in Milwaukee? I mean, it gets like <laughs> freaking cold up there. It's a, it's a little bit cold. It is. It's, uh, you know, we get a few nice months out of the year, but summer's beautiful. I like to, I like to think. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you my Milwaukee story. I went up there to go up to Fond du Lac. I went up there with a, a mastermind with another big mechanical contractor. And it was really funny because I went up, I, I had a hotel there. And, you know, I parked around the side of the building. Well, the guy told me, he says, when you get up in the morning, move your car up under the awning, let it get warm, go back in and come back out and it'll, it'll be thawed out. So I start the car and I pull around, pull up under the awning and I look up at the thermometer. It was zero degrees, zero here in Texas. That, that's still a zero. Okay. <laughs> it was zero degrees. I go into my room, grab my luggage, turn on the TV. And it says I was supposed to drive to Chicago after I left Fond du Lac. And it said there was going to be 12 inches of snow overnight. And I thought, I am not staying in Chicago. So I literally called my office as soon as I got up to Fond du Lac to the, where I was going. I said, y'all got to get me out of here. It's going to be 12 inches of snow tonight. If you don't get me out of here, you're going to pay me all week just to sit here. <laughs> uh, they got me out pretty quick. But it's funny because they flew me into Denver. Because the only flight that could get me on hit Denver and then came to Dallas. I didn't get home to midnight. But we landed in Denver and they had scraped the runways off because it had snowed there. So it's kind of crazy. How do you like it up there? I, I love Milwaukee. It's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. I've been there most of my life, uh, kind of born and, and raised in that area. Um, lots to do in the summertime, winter. Like you said, it gets a little bit cold. Uh, not necessarily my favorite, but it's nice to get down here and escape for a little bit. And it, and it does get cold. So here's the deal. And, and we normally do this once we go over 100 subs or 100 viewers. Uh, I meant to see we got a lot of people in here. And I am probably not going to have time to go through all the comments today. But I'm going to try to jump through them. But everybody, if you would, put in here where you're from and what you do. And, and the reason I say that is, I mean, I, man, I really want to know, you know, are you a plumber? Are you an electrician? Are you a roofer? What do you do? Because I get all kinds of people in here and it makes it really neat because, you know, people leave comments. I say, Roger, if you just took out the word plumbing and put in electrician, you just made me a better plumber or maybe a better electrician. You probably want to be a plumber, but yeah, you know, I, I get it. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm opening up the live feed over here. So if you will just tell me, you know, where you're from, what you do, I guess y'all know we're giving away a sewer inspection system than that. And we shot a video for it earlier. It is phenomenal. And now when I first found out about this system, so, so really if y'all have any questions about the Milwaukee camera inspection system, I literally, I want you to put your questions in here because I do, I, I want to know what questions y'all have got. I had a lot of questions, but the very first time I saw it, the clarity is what blew my mind, how crystal clear this picture was. And we shot some video with it today. What's your favorite thing about the camera? 
Um, my favorite thing's got to be the image quality. Okay. Like we talked about it's 1080p HD camera heads, all self leveling. Um, really just kind of mind blowing, especially when you're viewing it on an yeah. iPad uh, or a mobile device. You can do that. You can zoom and pan around um, and really communicate with your customer exactly what's going on inside the pipe. It's a neat deal because, like you said, not just zoom, but pan around, move it around. That way you get right on the image that you're, of course, trying to show your customer. But man, it is so clear. It, it is, I mean, it is 1080. It is high definition. What kind of cameras have y'all seen in the past that was so clear? I mean, literally, you, you don't just get to say, hey, you got sewer flies. You get to say, look at that little buddy crawling around right there. That is a sewer fly. Uh, probably not the best thing to pick out, but you know me. That, that's where my mind goes. Uh, how many of y'all are using the Milwaukee camera right now? If you are, put it in there. I'm going to go through some of these comments because I want to see where all we've got everybody at. I see my brother Steve Arloa in here. It says aloha, everyone. Morning for me, but good afternoon to all of you. So morning for you. Yeah, it's a uh, man. Is it? It's, it's like eleven at night or something, isn't it? I'm thinking. No, you're like five hours. Man, I don't even know anymore. You're five hours behind me. You're, yeah, you're. You're like. Steve, what time is it? We'll make it easy. <laughs> Man, plumber math. You, you, you know, come on, guys. Uh, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to click through some of these, and then I'm going to get down there. Uh, Mark Gurley, how we doing? Good to see you in here. Joseph Lalibet in the house. Look at this. What's up? Uh, Yellow Cake says, I could absolutely use $9,000 worth of gear. And, and, and this is funny because, I mean, th this is equipment for one man. We right down the street rescue error we just bought four of these and we bought this exact same system uh but we bought four cameras four locators because we wanted these in each and every truck okay so steve says it's 11 a.m man oh, wow. man yeah he's in hawaii yeah. fun fun <laughs> yeah five hours there we go five hours ahead of us or behind us yes now it makes sense now the plumber math caught up uh definitely put those tools to work that's what it's all about it says let's go i need this uh wrench started my plumbing journey today this would be a big help man it, yeah if you started it, now guys that is one thing no, number one i hope y'all are subscribed uh if you hadn't hit the subscribe button if you hadn't hit the thumbs up button you really ought to um uh, we have got 145 150 people in here and we've got youtube we've got facebook so yeah we've we got a good crowd in here i hope you're subscribed i hope you hit the thumbs up and it just need a nice snake with the self feeder well you know what we did that video a while back did that give away a while back so here's why it's good to be subscribed we give cool stuff away um i'll just leave it at that that was really easy because we've already done that what are the biggest problems that plumbers have and, you know, I started to say with tools, with cameras, with just what are the biggest problems plumbers have, period? What what, what do you see? Is it, is it running a business? Is it making money? Is it making their phone ring? Is it getting the right tools? What what kind of problems do you see? Because you, you do with yeah, plumbers yeah. all across the country. I, I think getting on and off a job site efficiently, getting on as many jobs as possible is huge. And um, our inspection cameras, the uh, Milwaukee uh, inspection system, really does a lot in terms of uh, what you can do in terms of throughput, the number of jobs you can get on, whether that's, you know, uh, the wheeled solution or the built-in backpack that lets you go up and down a ladder faster. Just these little things that we noticed when we worked with plumbers like like all of you guys out there. Uh, where are your frustrations? How do we make things easier for you? A lot of that went into developing this line. Um, so tons of considerations, you know, just those little things, even being able to share videos and photos really quickly uh, online from the job site is, is huge. Um, so I think just those small little efficiencies that everybody can incorporate into their day to day, and it allows you to get on more jobs in the long run. And and you know the neat thing is, it's not just get on more jobs; it's, it's to do a better quality. You know, the, the one thing I always talk about here is what are we doing to improve ourselves? Are we improving our tools, our knowledge, our materials? What is it? And this is a tool that definitely makes a big difference. Uh, Steve Arlos, he's still got a big day ahead of him, but he'll start at 1 p.m. So he doesn't miss this. That's right. We talked about wow. that. You have to take a long lunch today. Uh, always use more tools. Thanks for the opportunity. Personal account. Not sure who personal account is, but I bet you got good questions. 
One and only Joe E just got weight listed as number four. What are the odds of me getting called? I'm a mid-sized union hall. Uh, it depends on how big it is, but but here's the thing. And, and look, I used to be in the union, so I, I I completely understand what's going on. What I will tell you is that you know, being number four, you still got a good chance, especially if a job picks up, a bigger job, something happens. Uh, those of y'all that don't know, we are going to be giving away a Milwaukee 120-foot inspection system. And this camera is cool. It's a modular system. And we got to shoot the video earlier. So it's really cool. You've literally got a module that you pull out that's got your brains in it. It's got your battery in it. It's got the spot to plug in to put the video on a flash drive. It's got the spot to plug in to hook it up to your camera. I mean, to your phone. It's got the spot to plug in to charge your phone if you want to drag your battery down to charge your phone. At the end of the day, it'll go home and rub your feet. Yeah, ba basically. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's pretty cool. The modular aspect of it, you know, you can take those, the brains of the operation, the hub that powers everything. And this, this is where all your photos and videos are stored. And take it from your large reel for larger lines, longer runs, and just transfer it over to your smaller one. So you can use those same electronics across your whole system. It really is. It's just a versatile solution that allows you to do what's best for you. And that's only one of my favorite things. One of my other favorite things is the entire line is traceable, not just the sun and the head. Yeah, that's a huge. But time the there. entire line is traceable. Yeah, exactly. That's super unique to the Milwaukee system. Uh, so you can just pinpoint the camera head if you want, but yeah, trace the whole line. It eliminates you know you pushing it five feet, going out, marking it, pushing it another five feet. And I've been there. Yeah. Get up on a roof, push it five feet, go downside, get your locator, mark it, push it five more feet to try and lay it out. So imagine this now. You, you climb up on a roof. It's 120 foot of cable. You got about 30 feet from the vent down to your rough under the slab. Another 50 to, say, 75 feet out the front. Man, you're good. It's going to take you all the way to the city tap. Now you go in, you mark everything where it is. If you found anything along the way, if you see bellies, if you see brakes, and this was really cool because playing with it earlier, if it's got a belly, you can already press a button, make a note, and it shows you the belly. Yeah. You can you can tag it. It's so cool. Exactly. You can tag it. We call them highlights. So every time you tag or take a picture during an inspection, it marks that as, a, as an interesting spot in the inspection. And then you get what's called a highlight reel, which is, hey, you had a 10-minute inspection, 20-minute inspection cuts out all the stuff that you don't necessarily need to communicate to your customer and just gives you a nice condensed little video uh, that you can just quickly send off. And I like that because a lot of times there's nothing wrong. Well, we ran the camera through it. It was good. Didn't mark anything. Didn't tag anything. There was nothing wrong. But the neat thing is when it is, it's like, hey, look, we got a problem here. And it's so good because when you show it to them in high definition, man, you can see it. I mean, it really is easy to see. Uh, yeah, I wish that we'd have put it on a flash drive and just like put it up on the screen here. But we, we do. Matter, matter of fact, you've got yeah. the footage on your phone, don't you? Yeah, you want me to plug in and we can I'll share tell you what, yeah. let's plug in. I'm going to show you all how clear this is. Oh, you know what, Brad? Uh, actually, yeah, I do have let's see here, screen recording. I like this. Uh, Cruz Ruiz Samaniego says, I don't like any of that, but you're hilarious. Look, I, I do have fun when I do, guys. It, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'd have to grab my iPad. Uh, where's it at? Backpack. You know what? Go ahead. Go grab, go grab it. it. Uh, right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll visit with him. He will be back. Uh, so the cool thing is, you know, I mean, number one, y'all know that I have fun doing what I do. But Milwaukee came in and did a demonstration on this about six months ago. And I just fell in love with it. So. I was like, look, I want to, I want to find a way to do something. I want to give some of these away. So this is what we're trying to do. Uh, Preston says, love you, Roger. Love you too, man. You know, it's really funny. I got to speak this last week in Lake Tahoe at PHCC, uh, actually California PHCC. So it, it, it was really fun. But the neat thing is to get to talk to plumbers from all around the country, talk to plumbers from you know, East Coast to West Coast, because I'm headed out next week to the East Coast. 
But I got to tell you, I love what I get to do to get out, talk to plumbers, deal with plumbers, visit with them. Man, it's so much fun. Uh, and got to speak to a lot of cool plumbers out there. Had a blast. I love dealing with PHCC when it comes to recruiting into the trades, helping apprentices. I got to talk to instructors. It was just neat. So we're starting to get into where everybody's from. I want to say hello from Patrick Thompson from San Antonio. Uh, Philip Lines from Georgia, multifamily apartment plumbing foreman. Good for you. Never seen to catch the live stream, so I'm excited. Pamela, good to have you in here. Lesco Santos says, still bummed that I didn't get a call from you. Not sure what call that was, but okay. Uh, with a name like Fiasco, that may be it. I just was trying to stay out of trouble. Uh, Drew Kirchhoff says, hey, Roger Wakefield, good to see you again. Look, man, I, 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 here's the thing. I love every Monday. And, and I know it's kind of crazy because this just I get excited about this. I get to talk to – I mean, right, right now we got 150 people in here. Uh, actually, over that, we've got 125 on YouTube, 144 over here. Uh, so th this is Facebook. Th this is all my Facebooks. We got some people in here today. How many people? Nice. How many people want to win a camera? I mean, I'm looking down here. Hello from from Atlanta. Love your show. Hello from Minnesota uh, to Georgia, California. Uh, now, I'm gonna try to keep going on over here. So we got Jesse from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nice. Uh, that, uh, see, it's too that gun cold. Y'all ain't got enough sense. That's the problem. I love Mr. Steve Arlo. Don't forget, hit the like button. If you like what we're doing, man, let YouTube know. Uh, great stuff. Hello there. Fiasco. Yes. Uh, a war oh, man, it just jumped on me. See, it does that all the time. Now I got to come way back up here somewhere and find out where I was. That's the only thing this thing does. There we go. A warm day, it is. It's lawn chair weather, yes, indeed. Mr. Kyle Hoffman, what an apprentice. I'll tell you what, Mr. Hoffman moved from Washington State down here to work for me, works down at Rescue Air now. And, and I got to tell you, this guy's a learner. He wants to be a great plumber. Love that. <laughs> Steve Sands, love, yeah. love that. That's, uh, that's my buddy there. I'm glad he's tuning in. Oh, yeah. Nice to hear from you, Steve. You dog. Good. Oh, Steve Sims right down here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a dog. It, it is what it is. You know, we're, we're we're plumbers. They don't give us good people. We just get whatever they can scrounge up. Uh, Pamela says, I do not miss negative temps from Chicago, but in Indiana, who's your now? Good for you. From Ontario, Oregon. But it gets cold up there, too. Yes, yeah, Steve, he is a dog. Uh, <laughs> Beverly says, hey, Roger Wakefield, what's up? Rich McKay in the house. Uh, you know I'm not going to be able to go through all these, don't y'all? I'm trying, though. I mean, I'm already... 15 minutes behind on my comments, but I'm trying. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to jump right down. We've got another Milwaukee here. See, how do the Milwaukee people know what's up? White Plains Plumbing, New York, Texas Tradesman Plumber, Denmark Carpenter. So we got some cool people in here. Here we go. My will, Milwaukee is broke and I'm in Savannah, Georgia. You shouldn't have used it as a hammer. Uh, you know, we had that conversation earlier and, and I love this. Because here, here's what we run into. And I started out with a different kind of camera. And, and, and matter of fact, I'll start out with cameras even, I think, before. When did Milwaukee get into cameras? Uh, just about a year ago. Yeah. So we're pretty new to the game. This this was, well, well man, they waited to get it perfect. Because the, the, the brand that I was using, which, which nothing against them, they're a good entry-level camera. And man, when I saw the video from the Milwaukee, I mean, I was, I drooled. I know I did. It was like, oh my gosh, this is great. So have you got it or can you yeah, plug into there? Let's pull it up. Okay, so now we're going to, we're going to pull it up and I'm going to show y'all actual footage. And this is what we ran in through a pop earlier. So you're literally looking inside of a piece of busted cast iron pipe. And I want y'all to look at how clear that is. I mean, you stop, you literally see, all the buildup, you see everything on her. Now, at the end, you actually see toilet tissue. We had stuck that in there to create a clog. We were trying to push it. We were trying to do different things. But but here's where a lot of plumbers mess up. And that's why I wanted to, wanted to show this, is because a lot of plumbers will, will come in, and they'll see a clog like that, and they'll just start using that camera head and start pushing it. Well, even the, the cheaper version that I had, it literally... And, and we'll show this again later because we're going to have people jump in now. I get that. 
literally you'll see a plumber that is like, man, I'll just take this head. It's easier. I'll push it through there. Even the cheaper version camera that I had, the entry level, man, I treated it with respect. And I know that sounds crazy, but when you're paying six, five or six thousand dollars, which I think my first one was about thirty five hundred. You learn to take care of it. And then when you start hiring people and you walk out and you see it thrown in the back of a truck, you see a sewer machine land on top of it. You see stuff like that. It's like, OK, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing with this? But, man, these things are built pretty daggone solid now. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, they're built Milwaukee tough, you know. Um, so they're built super solid. Obviously, things happen, but we make it really easy to service our cameras in the field, too. Um, we give, you know, a camera head test port so that if a camera does go down, you can unscrew the camera head, screw it onto the test port. If it's bad, you order a new one. Uh, if it's if it's good, then you know your problem somewhere else. Just these little things that allow you to diagnose what's going on in the field and help with those turn times in terms of servicing the product. And, and the neat thing about that is the sound is not in the head, correct? No, no. So the sound is actually behind the spring. So there's other companies that have sewer inspection cameras that if you mess up the head, you've got to buy everything, including the sign. And I think the sign's about another grant and it just makes the camera, the price of it all go up. So when you need a repair, it costs you like an extra thousand right off the bat. Right. Yep. And it, it's, it's, you know, our modular system. You can unscrew the camera head, replace that easily. If the spring gets beat up or damaged, unscrew that and replace that easily. So you know, you can always have these spare parts on your truck uh, to keep you making money uh, with these cameras, uh, which we know, you know, these are these are uh, an investment that definitely have provide an ROI pretty quick for 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 you guys. Yeah, yeah Joseph Williams, I, I love this. Is uh, take care of your tools and they will take care of you. Great, man, it, it, and that's a that's such a big deal. Uh, and, and I hate it. You know, I, I got a message earlier, a post about somebody's truck plumbing truck got stolen, and, and, and it's like, man. You know, people are out there trying to take everything that you've got. Uh, man, take care of your tools, though. When you go to hire plumbers, and, and I know Steve's hiring some guys. On, I think I saw Sean Strong in here a minute ago. Uh, I hadn't looked back over at the live here lately, but I thought I saw him earlier. I could be up. Oh, he is in the house. Uh, oh, yeah. When you put stuff like Boomer Summer in there, you, you just lost. I mean, even if it draws you i must say it made a mistake we're starting over uh i'm joking but here's the cool thing if you take care of your tools and, and you know what man my guys before we bought the new vans that, that had the advanced locking system and stuff and we started putting puck locks on everything i'm s made them i asked them to bring in cameras sewer machines inspection uh locators everything each and every night because man it's just not worth losing an eight thousand, nine thousand dollar tool. Another great thing is, you know, we have one key built into this product. So that's where I was headed. <laughs> so explain one key and how it works. Yeah. So one key allows you to track and manage your inventory. So you always know, you know, where your inspection camera is at. You can uh, you can lock it out. You can uh, just have visibility to where it's at at all times. Like you're saying, you know, you want to take care of your tools. It's just another way you can do that. It's like a GPS tracker on your tool. That yep. is phenomenal. All right. Let's jump back into the comments. Yep. Sean says, okay, I'm here. All right. Uh, what is this? Boomer Center stuff. Man, whoa. Dude. Steve Arlo, you kick him out. I mean, you're a moderator. Uh, starting Plumbing Apprenticeship in a couple of months. Guys, and, and that is one thing that I, I want to tell y'all. If you win, you're going to have to prove to me you're a plumber. Uh I don't want to give this to a car washer who's like, hey, look, uh, great. I want a $9,000 camera. I'm going to call Roger and sell it back to him or something. I know Sean will be like, hey, I'll buy it. Uh, anyway, here's the thing, guys. You're going to have to be a plumber. I'm going to ask you to prove it. If if you can't, we'll find another winner. Uh, may not be tonight because I'll give you time. But I want to make sure that this is actually going out to a plumber that's going to use it. And going to be able to make money with it. I mean, I'm going to have to get in here and figure out how to do the giveaway tonight. It has been a long time since I've done this. Uh, Dean, if you're still here, will you look up how to do a giveaway? 
uh there's, there's a way to do a random drawing in tools or settings or something i'm gonna play with all this in a little while guys we're, we're gonna have fun uh layouts hotkeys virtual backgrounds and i will figure it out what a great uh, giveaway though honestly i, I, I know it is and, and it was so neat because look milwaukee's known for giving away cool stuff they give it to training schools they, they, they give it to people that need it education centers to me that man that's one of the coolest stories i've heard about what y'all do definitely definitely so besides the the 120 foot you've also got the 200 foot reel and it all ties together will, will you explain that yeah absolutely so we have a 120 foot mid stiff uh camera this is going to be great for two to six inch lines uh this is we call it mid stiff because it's a good balance of being able to push long distances and straight runs um as well as be able to navigate some some pretty uh tough turns uh, and then we've got our 200 foot stiff which is for three to ten inch lines this is going to be our stiffest push cable uh really allows you to push out all as as far as possible you know you, our, our push cables are designed to really go the distance um and that's going to be a wheeled solution so this you can wheel around on and off the job site uh like a suitcase uh and then our 120 is we're all about application specific transportation so we know you're going to be bringing this up on a roof all the time uh so it has a built-in backpack it's nice and compact and lightweight uh allows you to get on a roof easily get get across the job site easily and also safely uh, we know going up and down ladders uh with heavy equipment trying to make that uh as easy as possible for everybody I like this. As KJ just got off the phone with Milwaukee to get more Milwaukee contractors bags 30 minutes ago. You know, nice. and, and here's the deal. I, and I mean, you know, y'all see my other studio. Nick walks up there he's like, man, I like, I like this pack out. It's like, well, look, it, the, the stuff comes in handy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what we're going to do in, in under an hour. I'm going to give y'all a text phrase. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a text that you're going to have to put in the comments. Now, like I said, I, I hope you're subscribed. I hope you gave it a thumbs up. I got it. Got it right here. Yes, sir. Yep. I, I pulled it up just like you. Thank you, brother. Uh, man, I, I, I want to say thanks to Dean. Thanks to Colton. Thanks to Patrick. You know, the guys that help everything happen in the back, uh, just brought in Patrick recently. I am, I'm looking for somebody else to help me. Uh, I'm actually, I think hiring, a manager to help me man i've been running guys uh i'm traveling around the country and here's what i'm trying to here's what i'm trying to get a manager like next week i'm in or i'm not i leave for houston tomorrow orlando till after that wednesday to sunday then i'm back for a week then i'm in fort lauderdale but what i want to start doing is getting out there and going to like a supply house go to a school go to a training center uh, go to the union training center, do something like that and just go in and visit apprentices and plumbers and man visit and say, Hey, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, so anyway, I I'm looking forward to that, but I need somebody to help me. So I'm hiring somebody that graduated from the university of Arkansas, not Texas. Uh, I hate to say that, but she's, she's got a degree in marketing and advertising and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be really good. But what I'm going to do in less than an hour, I'm going to give you a phrase. You're going to put it in. Man, I'm going to pull up this tool that they have over here. It'll start collecting comments. I'll show it up on the screen. It'll do a drawing and boom, tell me who the winner is. So pretty cool deal. Just so y'all know, how many people in here right now, and, and if you do put hashtag me, how many people already use sewer cameras? Because when I first started out, there was a company that does repairs here just the other side of Rockwall. And literally, you could go out there and rent a camera for a day. So I would book three or four jobs, go rent a camera. And man, I'd get out there like five o'clock the evening before because the guy was like, look, I trust you. You'll bring it back to me. Uh, then I would come back about five o'clock the next evening or even before they open the day after that. That way I could get in a full day with it. And then I finally decided, look, I I've got to get my own deal. Uh, so I'm just, Amber Mendoza. Oh, I almost put you in timeout, Amber. Uh, there we go. Amber Mendoza is in the house. Yeah, Amber, if you want a job back, look, I, I, I need help. Uh, that, that, that's really big. I love the fact you said you're on it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm swamped. 
but it's good. Okay, so we got a lot of people already using sewer cameras. Good. So my my favorite thing, which man, we do a lot of slab leaks and slab leak repair. And it's really good to be able to run that camera and go up. And, and once you're right at the leak, you just go up with your locator and say, hey, boom, it's right here. Yeah. I, and it's awesome that we're giving away a locator too. To, I today. know. That's, it's, that's amazing. The locator is just so cool. It's so easy to use. You turn it on. Uh, you've got a bright color screen. Uh, the arrows just point you straight to the the sonder to the it's line not a bad deal. it's amazing yeah it's it's i like to say it's kind of dummy proof i mean you can give this to somebody the first day on the job and they can figure it out um so that's that's awesome and, and, and it's great because i keep saying technology is passing up our skill gap and, and what i mean by that is you know what there, there's equipment out there now there's tools out there now there's materials out there now that i mean to be honest there, there's materials that apprentices could put together properly and right and not leak and different things like that if they're trained the right way so man the fact that tools are catching up it, it does it makes sense now i've used milwaukee for many many years they're just getting into cameras what what are the other biggest things that that plumbers use from milwaukee i, I love the pack out system as you, as you saw my one in the back it's phenomenal What's your big thing about Milwaukee? Why, why do you work there? Why do you love working at Milwaukee? I, I love working at Milwaukee because number one, I get to interact every day with uh, with our end users. Uh, you know, we place so much value in getting out in the field, working alongside with the, our plumbers, or our drain cleaners, uh, and actually understanding. You know, what slows you guys down? Where are your frustrations at? And then we take it back and. <laughs> And, and, you know, we develop solutions around that. You bet. Um, so that's kind of the mentality that we have across Milwaukee. And it's just it's just a really exciting place to be because of that. Um, just constantly kind of pushing the limit in terms of innovation. Um, so, yeah, that that's what gets me up in the morning, gets me going. You know, and, and it's neat because part, part of my deal, and, and like I said, I spoke at PHCC out in California this last week. And, you know, one of the guys is like, Roger, why do you do this? It's like, oh, my God, I get to help plumbers. And I mean, those of y'all that know me, look, I'm a plumber. Uh, I've got nasty pop out there that, that I stick cameras in to see what I can do. Uh, it, it, it literally, that there's so many things that I think plumbers get to do, but, but what we do is, is I think we make the world a better place. We protect the health of the nation. And that's why I truthfully think plumbing is the best trade, the best skill, but it's so cool to, get to talk to people about, you know, the tools and, and why we do what we do, why they do what they do. Uh, it was neat to see Milwaukee get into the camera game. And then when you saw the camera, what they did with it, it was like, Oh my God, look what, look what they just did. It's completely different. Yeah. It's, it, you know, it was a long time in the making and, and a lot of it just came from spending a ton of time in the field, working alongside plumbers and drain cleaners and really understanding Hey, how do we make not just an inspection camera? How do we make the right inspection camera? Uh, that's so critical in what we do every day is how do we make the right tool, the right solution? And, and that's good because, I mean, guys, look, but they listen to people like us. Uh, and, and it's funny as to how many manufacturers actually do that. Uh, a lot of different products were made because a plumber came up and said, hey, why, not, why didn't this product do this? And they're like, Oh, wow. Did y'all hear that? Uh, and, and they can make it do it. So it, it really is neat. Uh, I like this. Frank says, if you can plumb, you can do anything. And I don't know if y'all seen the video that I did about, you know, being handy. Uh, it, it, it really is a big deal, but you're right. I think you're the same. I think the same way. If you can plumb, you can do just about anything. Uh, Ellen says, yes, got to clean water coming in and, Dirty water taken out. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I like the Milwaukee whole hog for descaling. I hadn't used it for descaling, but okay. Tyler Barnes says we use a Milwaukee locator and camera uh, a ton. Great for cutting in cleanouts inside of pulling a bar stool. Oh, instead of pulling a bar stool, inside of pulling a stool to rod. There you go. Joseph Williams says found the clog in a 90 degree, three quarter inch block. Fill the line with muriatic acid multiple times, dissolve 95% of it without having to break it up. I've seen people do that. 
I hate pouring up much acid down a, a sewer drain, but it, it, I get it. Uh, Megan, I like this, says the plumber protects the health of the nation. And guys, we, we know that's true. A lot of, oh, I thought I clicked on it twice now. There we go, Megan. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, and it's funny because I've heard some doctors say, look, if, if people know the truth, plumbers save more lives a day than, than doctors do. And if you look at what all we do and look at how we do it, uh, if we're not putting in cross connections, Diane Villarreal, former chief plumbing inspector in Dallas, says, do you know what happens when plumbers do things right? Nothing. And man, it's the truth. Uh, th th there's nothing bad to happen. It, it all goes good. It, it, it all looks like it's supposed to. Here's one thing that I like about this camera. Not just the fact that, that it's a modular system, but I can be up on the roof with the camera. It's got a backpack, throw it on, climb up. It's only 35 pounds. You got it. I'm an old man. I can handle that. Get up on the roof. I can run it. I can holler at my apprentice and say, hey, go downstairs and carry the iPad down and show it to the customer. It connects to multiple cameras at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can have either an M18 monitor or iPad up on the roof and then uh, somebody inside with their own phone or iPad communicating with the customer. So it's it just it really lets you take that high quality image where you need it, you know, no matter where you are. So yeah, connect up to three different devices this thing is cool yeah I, I mean i'm just i'm gonna say that again this thing is cool uh here in about 40 45 minutes uh but but you're, you're gonna have to know what to put in so i wouldn't leave yet if i was you we're gonna be giving you a word that you're gonna have to put in it's gonna have to be put in exactly like i say to put it in and then the computer does a drawing i don't even get to mess with it uh StreamYard's going to do it. You're going to see it live. Uh, we're going to do it right here. Then the winner will have to prove to me they're a plumber, uh, either through licensing or, or, or something like that. We'll figure it out. We'll make sure it, it's a good, fair way. I just want to make sure this gets in the hands of a plumber. Uh, I want to jump in here and see if we've got any questions here. Easier to sell the jobs when your customers can see the problem. 100%. Man, isn't that the truth? It's 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 tough because, like I said, we specialize in slab leaks and leak detection. It's really hard when you tell somebody, hey, there's a leak under here. But I'll tell you what I like even better is we do sewer water tests for homeowners or home buyers. And we've really grown our business by talking to real estate agents, by educating them. And we literally... Go do that a lot. What I love it is when they call and they say, hey, uh, you said this house had a leak on the sewer line. They had another plumbing company come out that works with the, 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 the home seller. And they said, you're wrong. It's okay. They said, well, you got anything to say? I said, well, I know I'm not wrong. So, well, will you come back and do the test again? So, well, here's my deal. I'll come do the test again if you have the other plumbing company there. And they pay me when I show them I'm right. And they're like, man, that's a tough one. So, you want us to come back? This is what I'm going to do. So they're like, well, how do you know you're right? I said, because my guys have been trained the right way. And we got out there. And guys, this is a true story. And this has happened more than once. <clears throat> we get out there and the seller's there. And he said, hey, y'all can go ahead and start. So we start pulling the clean out, start getting everything in. Well, the, the plumber pulls up plumber pulls up i think the name of his company is slab leak detectors or something and he pulls up in an unmarked van no no m number on it no nothing i'm like thought plumbing license law on board real says your van, van's gotta be identified oh it's a brand new van yeah trust me i saw when he opened the back doors it was not a new van so we're in here putting a test ball in there and he says i want to use my equipment <laughs> okay uh so he puts his test ball in he did use my water hose, but he starts filling it up and, and you can already tell it's going down. So he takes it all out. I gave him my test ball, waxed it up. Cause if you don't wax your balls, you got a problem. Stick it in place, air it up. Same thing. 
And he said, well, it must be a problem with test ball. And I'm like, well, look, we're looking in the other side of the clean out. There's no water running by. I said, how did you test it? He said, with a camera. I said, well, you know, cameras aren't 100% accurate. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, even the one I, we're giving away tonight, it's not 100% accurate. You cannot make it get in every single line there is. If a branch line goes off a funny way, it revents a funny way, whatever it is, it's impossible to see 100% of the sewer system on most layouts. I said, man, you got to fill it with water and test it. He said, well, I've never done that in my entire life. So really, how long you been doing this? He said, about 20 years. I said, how many people have you screwed over? He did not like that conversation. But uh, I proved to the real estate agent, I was right. Guys, there, there's a lot of ways to do it, but but expand your services. Take the extra time. Yes. See, sicker success is ball status waxed. <laughs> if you're not waxing your balls when you're doing a sewer water test, you, you're, you're, you've got problems. Uh, so I take the toilet bowl wax. It, it's really easy. Just, just take a piece of bowl wax, lubricate or wax your balls, stick them in the right position, air them up, make sure your pressure's right, 35, 40 PSI. You don't want them to pop and go from there. Adrian says, before I run the camera on jobs, I tell the customer, warning, we're about to watch a dirty movie. Now, you want, <laughs> I love that. I, I got to tell you, Adrian, that is good. That's a good line. Uh, that That is really good. Yeah. I want to take a picture of that because I'm, I, I, man, I kind of hope you win right now. I, I know I shouldn't say anything like that, but uh, th that is really funny. I wish I could screenshot it or something. Yeah, and those of y'all that don't know, there's a link right over there. I mean, click on that link. That's going to put you in our Facebook group, uh, or it's going to invite you in. You have to answer the questions, or I will not let you in. Uh, but, man, that, that's where a lot of times we talk about stuff that we're going to be doing like this, so it can be pretty cool. Megan says, I will still, will I still be considered for the drawing if we are trying to win it for our significant other if they are a plumber? If not, I will pull myself out of the drawing. Thank you. Well, number one, Megan, you're not in the drawing yet because we hadn't done it yet. Uh, I, everybody's in here, but I hadn't told everybody what we're doing yet. So you're going to have to hang around because you're going to have to know what to put in there. Uh, you're going to have to know how we're going to do it. But here, here's the thing, uh, Megan, yes, if if your significant other is a plumber and y'all can prove that, uh, uh, we, we will make that work, I promise. And, and to be honest, man, I'm proud of you for being in here trying to win it for him. I think that's really that's cool. cool. Uh, Big Bear Plumbing, how we doing? Good to see you. David Contreras says, how do I enter the giveaway? We're going to talk about that here in about 20, 25 minutes. Then we'll be doing it right after that. Alan says, if you're not waxing your balls, you're doing all wrong. You're doing it wrong. All plumbers need this on a shirt. I love that idea for a shirt. You, you know, I've, <laughs> I've, I've already got, I've got a list of shirts that I need to make. But yeah, if you're not waxing your balls, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, it's, but it's true. Jeffrey Wilson says, in all honesty, I've done what seems like thousands of rough ends and top outs, and I've never once wax, waxed my test balls. I've done 18 and 24 inch sewer lines that and never waxed the balls. So here's what I'll tell you. You're talking about rough ends and top outs, but I'm talking old plumbing. If I've got PVC, I may not do it because I can look and see the outlet side of the two-way clean out or double clean out. So be the case. But my thing is that piece of pipe, matter of fact, go ahead and open that up again. Yeah. I'm going I'm to show you, this is a piece of pipe that we would normally stick a test ball in. And, and I'm going to show you all the video here as soon as should begin. all the other stuff goes away. Okay. So this is the actual sewer line right here. But do you see how rough and scaly the inside of that is? The only reason that I wax my balls is to help seal that off. If you've got your test ball and you stick it in there, even, even at 35 or 40 PSI, as rugged and rough as the inside of that is, there's still a possibility that water could leak around it. And look, I've done this for years. So my recommendation is wax your balls, get it right where you want it. And I try to put it right between the double clean out. That way I can fill up water on one side, look in the other and make sure that it's not doing anything. So do y'all see how clear this video is? Look at this. This is just how quick you can airdrop it or email the video off. Okay, so so here, I got I got my phone on. Go ahead and airdrop it to me. So right. say you're say you're at a customer's house. Uh 
we've literally got the 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 whole thing right here. He's got four or five video clips there. But but let's say he shows me this one, and I need to show my wife why I'm going to spend twenty five thousand dollars. You see, it says crack pop right there. Yeah, it's really easy. So you open up the gallery, find the video. Uh, so we've got it here. Going to hit the download button, download it to the iPad, airdrop it. I can't. This is a screen recording, so I can't airdrop okay, it to you okay, right now. Okay, cool, cool. But it's it's that quick. So just lets you send it off straight from the job site, straight from your phone, tablet. Uh, it, isn't that pretty cool? Not, not here. Okay, let me try something here. I don't know if it'll let me. Not well. I was gonna try. Hold on, maybe, maybe I can do it this way. Now, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. You know, you never know what's going to come up on a computer when you've never <laughs> done it before. So I'm real careful. Like, okay, you sure that's the right video to pull up here? Uh, you know, I don't want any videos of his kids or anything yeah. like that. Where it's like, wait, I don't put my kids out in public. So, you know, the neat thing about this, I mean, guys, think about this. How many of y'all would just love a $9,000 investment in your business? Because that's how I look at this. When I got to talk, and I want to say special thanks out to Sydney Starrett. She was phenomenal. Uh, talking to her and explaining to her what I wanted to do and why. This is something I've been wanting to do. And to be able to talk to her and say, look, Sydney, here's why. Here's what I want to do with this. I, 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 I want to help other people. I don't want it to be just let me tell people about it. I want to give somebody something. And she said, you know what, Roger, we normally don't do anything like this, but, but, and this sounds pretty cool. So I got to talk to her. She said, let me see what we can do. Uh, talk to her team. And somehow I ended up with Nick down here. You know, it, I mean, it is what it is <laughs> all the way from Wisconsin. Now, now he's been down here. Now, now the good thing is it's not 90 degrees here right now. I know I was a little bit disappointed when I got down here, but hey, it was kind of cool like yesterday. It, too. It was, yeah. So it's yeah. like. I think he brought that crap with him. I'm just, just going to throw it out there. It's a possibility. <laughs> I better get out of here sooner than later. Though. Man. <laughs> uh, all right. Let, let me get over in the comments because yes. I know that I've been jumping way around. Uh, I'm going to jump up. I don't even want to start with that. I don't like it. Can you fix it? Never wax my test balls. Frank Molly says paid for itself over and over and over again. Guys, and, and that's the thing. I'm going to tell you how I use our sewer cameras. We don't charge people for them. Now, if you call me and that's all you want, hey, I want you to come camera my sewer lines. Okay, we can do that. I'll go out. We can run them down a vent. We can do all different things. And, and, and I like this because the 120, you've got the guides to keep it in the center of the pipe, which is fantastic because whenever we run it in the first time, it's sitting down on the bottom of the pipe. And when you got down close to that water toilet tissue, you couldn't see the whole thing. You could pan, you could back up, you could do different things to make it work. But once we put that guide on that lifted the camera up and put it right in the middle. And here's the cool thing about this. And I want you all to think about this. You ever seen channel rot where it rots out the bottom of the pipe and you stick your camera head in and it gets past that channel rot and it drops and now you can't pull it back out. This guide literally has like multiple legs out. And I've got an idea for an invention I need to talk to you oh, about. Because right, right. I talked to another yeah. guy about a camera repair company. He says, I want nothing that's going to keep people from breaking their camera. Head. <laughs> but, but, but I mean, think about it. That's his business. Yeah. So in, anyway, it, it's something that I thought about. And whenever I saw the guides, I thought, okay, y'all are getting close. You're not quite there. But imagine being able to get that clear of a picture, get it in. You've got the guy there to protect, to help keep it from dropping down. How good is this for your business? Because where it is for us. Anytime we run a sewer call, we try to run a camera behind it. The reason being, you never know when there's going to be a break, a belly, a crack, a fitting, roots, anything like that. What What is the weirdest thing you've ever heard of being found? Yeah, I knew there's got to be a story somewhere. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, I think something that's probably not appropriate for, for, for <laughs> you uh, never the know. show. But, you never know. <laughs> um, uh, I've heard of some pretty interesting stuff. Maybe we can get some of these people to, to comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know what? Y'all are, y'all, look, hey, hey, I think we got a few plumbers in the house. Do, do me a favor, plumbers. Tell me, what is the strangest thing you've ever found in a sewer line? Uh, remember, this is a family show. So let's kind of keep it PG, PGR-ish, something like that. If you go R, be nice. Uh, no cussing, no foul language, nothing like that. 
Uh, but but what is the craziest thing you you've ever seen or found? I'm interested in hearing about and, this. And and I'm gonna tell you a good one is I got called one time by a lady says said hey we, we lost a twenty thousand dollar diamond bracelet in our p trap in, in our bathroom. Can you come get it? I said absolutely. <laughs> not for her. Not not just come get it. Uh oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I got to get back to my story real quick. Uh, so I get over there, take a part of P-Trap. Well, there's nothing in it. She says, well, you know, it must have gone back. I'm thinking, okay, a heavy bracelet does not pick up out of a P-Trap and go back. Is it possible? Anything's possible. So I said, ma'am, when you dropped it in here, did y'all like try to plunge it? Did y'all do anything weird? Did y'all run a lot of water? She says, oh, no, 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 no. We turned it off. So, okay. I said, because something pushed it up the hill and i showed her the p-trap she said well that's interesting don't know what could have done it i said well let me run a camera in there because this arm is almost level actually I had backfall i said this arm is actually level let, let me run a camera in there and see if i see it here so i run in there and it's not there by this time i've spent you know hours so and I'm, I'm like ma'am look it, it's not in here she said well maybe it's in the sewer line under the house or something so well maybe so well, her insurance company calls me later and says, hey, uh, this is like the third claim they've had of this size. It says, do you think that bracelet's down in the drain under the house? I said, I don't think that bracelet ever made it into the drain. But man, if I'd have found it, that would have made my day. <laughs> I mean, it'd have been like, ya," <laughs> You know, because look, I'm wow. proud of being a plumber. I'm proud of what we can do because I'd have found a way to get it back out. I mean, I'm like, how can I retrieve this? Hmm. Uh, it, it, to me, it would have been fun. Uh, okay, so I'm going to jump to the bottom just because I saw some cool stuff in here already. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm laughing already. Uh, okay, so let's ride up around in here. Uh, cheap labor isn't skilled. Skilled labor isn't cheap. Amen. Mr. Sean Strong, good to see you in here, brother. Put in a link to the Discord and our Reddit and subreddit. Look, if you've got some cool video that you shoot on your Milwaukee camera, that way it's high definition. I want to see it on the subreddit. Uh, bellies, cracks, breaks, anything like that, man. That's what we talk about. I get a top some says skids. What the heck? Sicker. What up, bad plumbing in Oklahoma? My whole block's got problems for disabled people. That ain't good. Here we go. Dentures. Now I gotta tell you. We've got a thumbnail where we pulled a toilet. Not we. Somebody else did. Pulled a toilet and the dentures are right there in the bottom. That that that's pretty bad. I wonder if they used them again. Oh God, I hope not. I'm just, I'm not. just, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Brennan Glass says we found a dead mouse. Okay, I have pulled a either a dead bird or a dead squirrel. By the time I got to it, you really couldn't tell. Uh, it, it didn't look good. Uh, you couldn't tell if it was feathers or hair that used to be there, but it had been there for a while. Uh, a pair of blue jeans. Man, that puppy's got a big trapway on that toilet. How does that work? I don't know, because, <laughs> man, my friends at 1-800 T-Shirts sent me some shirts to flush. Because we, we've got a series we do called WTF. No, not not what the what. It's, it's <laughs> will this flush. WTF. I love that. That's amazing. Everybody thinks bad things about me. I mean, <laughs> I mean, because we were talking about waxing my balls and WTF. And, and this is all plumbing terms, y'all. This is technical stuff. But the cool thing about it is, man, 1-800-GOT-T-SHIRTS says, look, Roger, we'll send you some shirts. And I literally just thought they'd be like with the 1-800-T-SHIRTS logo on it. And it's got like WTF on the back. I mean, all <laughs> kinds of cool stuff. Nice. Great people over there. So, guys, if you want to order shirts... Go to 1-800-T-Shirts and check it out. Okay, so blue jeans, roaches. I'll tell you what, I love it when you stick the camera down in there and the roaches just start scattering. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you one of the, the weirdest ones, the ones that, I mean, I went home that night and I could not get in the shower quick enough. I mean, you go home and you're just like, okay, I got to get it. I got it. I got to get in the shower. 
we were at a sports bar out by DFW airport to run a camera because they were getting sewer gas smell behind the main bar. And almost every foot of pipe had sewer flies in it. And I mean, you would run it through and I mean, you just saw the inside of the pipe crawling around. It was nothing but solid sewer flies. Uh, Joseph Williams found Batman. Uh, we knew he was somewhere. Jason says a snake and a roof vent. Okay, that's a trip. Nanya, right there with you. Uh, the bird or squirrel, whatever it was. Man, it was down. It was like right where the trap arm went over and back. It was not good. Uh, Tyler Byrne says a toy rocket ship about one foot long, syringes, and a wallet. Wow. I hope this wasn't all in the same <laughs> stack. That's a trip. Uh, Gareth says found a meth pipe. Uh, James Harden action figure. <laughs> I guess he got dunked. Um, pretty good. I like that. Uh, dress in the closet bin of a men's room toilet in Hollywood. In Hollywood, it was probably the man that took it off to put on his normal <laughs> clothes. Just going to throw that out there. I mean, nothing bad about Hollywood. I've been there, though. It's, it's kind of freaky. Thomas 89 says a roof drain that as it headed to the scupper, it offset up over a beam, then offset back down before it got there. Okay, that's a trip. A thong. Do you mean a beer thong or anal floss? Just curious. Uh, a beer can. A credit card. Did it still work? Just asking, what did you buy with it? Because that's that's where my mind went. Uh, a spray paint can lid. Man, that will mess up a sewer system because that's about that size that, like, if it hits something, it's going to clog it up. Uh, a guinea pig. It was a funeral. It was a funeral. Oh. I hope, let's see. That's, that's, my, my mind went to a bad spot. Uh, a gerbil, you know. Uh, again, a bad spot. Philip Davis says, 13-ish pair of ladies' underwear. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I know where I want to go with that. I, I just, I, I just, my filter doesn't always work out. Uh, go, go ahead. Any, any, any comment? Uh, 13. I, I, at that point, I don't know if she, if she just thought they were disposable or what was going on. There you go. <laughs> Maybe they were disposable panties. Uh, we found, found a school picture from 1967 in an old Pittsburgh duplex. In the sewer or just in the duplex? Just just curious. Chicken bones with Q-tips. <laughs> okay, now, that just doesn't even sound right. Chicken bones. So far, chicken bones with Q-tips. I just, I, I'm like, so were they using the Q-tips to clean the chicken bones? Or, I mean, <laughs> what, were, they, were they in a salad together? I mean, just, just curious. Found concrete, clean out caps, small spray bottle. I found concrete in the sewer before. I think y'all saw that video where... Uh, a plumber got upset because he didn't collect his last 10% of pay before the job was finished and came back and poured concrete down the toilet. Then just down the flange. But yeah, that was an expensive problem. Barney film 85 back in the house. How we doing? So is a 1.5 foot piece of two inch cast iron in a four inch stack. And that, you know, if it's a vent stack, it may not be that bad. I mean, it's still going to be a problem. I get it. But man, you put that down in a sewer main, that 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 could be a problem. Uh used pregnancy stoppers. Pregnancy stoppers. I like that word. Pregnancy stoppers. That took me a second there. To pregnancy that stoppers. Was. That's that's kind of <laughs> like me when we did the toilet about you know the, the flush in thing. You know, we found the balloons that had been filled up with weird things, stuff, whatever. Uh <laughs> Dakota Carter, a full line of Orbeez. We have found that around here. I have found a, 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 a pneumatic air pump tool that you just stick in there and squeeze. Okay, I got to tell y'all. I'm going to take just a minute and get on a different subject here. Because I just invested about two, too much money in testing equipment. I am fixing to start blowing stuff up. And, and I'm going to do it in a very confined, very cool way. But the neat thing about it is I had called this company that builds acrylic boxes. And, you know, it was Saturday at, you know, two or three in the morning when I had this brain fart. 
And so I got online and go to order it and look at it. And I'm doing this and it comes to the login page. You're like, Hey, sign in, tell us what you think. What do you want? I said, I want the two foot by two foot by three foot box. It only comes five sided. I said, so I want a special note. I'd like to order a sixth, sixth side, a sixth side to put on top. And a guy sent, calls me today and says, Hey, uh, you know, just got your message here. Just trying to figure out what you're wanting to use this display box for. And I love when people call me like that. It's like, well, I want to use this display box to blow stuff up in. And he's like, excuse me. I said, well, you know, I'm a plumber and, and sometimes I just like to blow stuff up. And it took me a while to explain it before the guy finally slowed down and, and says, okay, look, I'll go ahead and quote it, but I'm not sure that this will, because I'm wanting to take pipe and stuff and put it in there and pump it up to ungodly pressures because I ordered a pump that'll pump up to 10,000 PSI, 10,000 PSI. And I just want to see what I can blow apart. So plumbing 101 is going to be fun. Uh, Frank Molly says a gay couple's toy. Just, you know, anybody's toy might not be fun to find with, uh, with a sewer camera. WTF. Will this flush? Uh, Charles May says Spider-Man action figure, a large one, about eight to 10 inches tall. Was that the wow. Spider-Man action figure or the gay couple's toy? Just trying to just making, I'm not sure which one you're commenting on. Uh, Chris M says, wow. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, Tyler Barnes is working in a plant one day and a lady lost her dentures. We found them and she wanted them back. All right, guys, this show's over. I'm out of here. I'm going to go puke real quick. Uh, we're going to call it good. Uh, those of y'all asking about the drawing here in about 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Uh, all I can say is I hope you're subscribed. I hope you ring the bell. I hope you give it a thumbs up. Number one, we're having fun. Yes, we are. I have Nick Pond from Milwaukee in here. Now, after this last section, he's wondering, why did I come? Uh, probably should have stayed in Milwaukee today. Uh, look, I... I love what we get to do. This is amazing. It's, it, amazing. It, it, it's, it's a blast. It really is. So the importance of being the, oh, the, 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 let's see, I saw the capital I, it's a, I thought it was a L. The importance of being, I actually like that. Uh, two toy cars, two tennis balls, one of those suction cup toy balls, all on the same line. Man. Wow. Undergarment, socks, shirt, adult toy. That's like it seems to be a common one. That's that's the one that popped in my head right away. The adult that's toy. My, yeah. Well, well, see, when I think adult toy, I think of my truck. I think of my oh. motorcycle. <laughs> it, that's not what I was thinking. But you know, slide over here just a little <laughs> bit. You know, uh, welcome from Milwaukee. Uh, Sean Strong says electric razor. Guy was upset when I said I couldn't get it back. Yeah, a squirrel in a three-inch sanitary tee. Mike and Pam Casanova said, found a long pole-shaped object. Long pole-shaped object. Use your imagination. Might have been a plunger handle. You know, first thing, use your imagination. That's what I thought. Uh, John and Jan Whitman says, pulled a guinea pig out with a toilet auger. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking. I can't. Uh, Milwaukee will never talk to me again. I'll call, I will call Sydney. She'll be like, Roger who? Click. Uh, William says, found a full eight foot two by four. Man, a carpenter had to be upset with a plumber when the house was built. That's a trip. So Luis found Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. So he's been hanging out with the turtles. Uh, Sal says, women's good high school ring in a sink P-trap. Now, man, this is a good one, Sal, because my question is, was it theirs? Meaning, what was, does that lady like, oh, my God, I've been looking for that. Or did it belong to the previous homeowner, renter, or something like that? I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Austin says, Tyler, that's a foul. Which one was Tyler? Tyler, Tyler. Uh, plant one day, lady lost her dentures. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. That is, that's a party foul. <laughs> lady, go home, please. Take a bottle of hydrogen peroxide with you. 
Uh, Christopher says, pulled a bottle of Pepto Bismol from a toilet. I, and, and okay, so that's a good one because one of the, the other funniest things I've ever pulled out was, you know, the, the spring loaded toilet paper holder. Oh, yeah. So I go to a house and this lady says, Look, upstairs bathroom, it stops up a lot. He says, I think that my previous roommate accidentally flushed that down the drain. I'm thinking, well, number one, how is it an accident? Where did it come out of to end up here? Because it's not just like it's going to bounce from there into it. Just, just my thoughts. Uh, but it had literally got down inside the toilet. It, it didn't go all the way down into the sewer. So I didn't find it with the sewer machine, but I was able to get it out with the closet auger because I stretched it because she said, I think that's what it is. I thought, okay, it's about yay big around make that spring retrieval spring big enough and grab it. And it did. So it's pretty wild. I've also pulled reading glasses out. Lady says, drop my readers down or my husband dropped the readers down in there. He doesn't want to get them out. She says, but so it keeps stopping up. And I know that's what it is. So I pull them out and ask her if she want them back. She says, Oh God, no. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, random Dan 85 says a pair of chompers. Always freak me out when I find them. Yeah, if I pull dentures out, I just I think I'm gonna tell people, hey, they broke. I threw them in the trash. Whatever the case may be. Facebook user says, new plumber here. Just wanted to say thank you for all your knowledge uh, you give us in your videos. Well, number one, thank you. Uh, look, I love what I get to do. One of the neatest conversations I had in Lake Tahoe last week. One of the instructors came up and said, Roger, look, I show your videos in my class. I said, that's funny because I get comments from students all across the United States and say, hey, look, I'm in either the UA, I'm in PHCC, I'm in CEF, I'm in whatever it is. And man, the instructors are showing your videos all the time. And it makes me feel good to know that other plumbers think I'm doing something right. So thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Jason said, found a very expensive engagement ring. Dennis Klein found a fish. Was it live or dead? Just curious because that is burial ground. Uh, toilet brush down the drain. Okay, here we go. Steve, I knew, I knew I could count on you for a good one. It says, in Detroit, after clearing the drain in the basement, there were a bunch of um baby stoppers uh, for men. And the wife uh, lost it and said, I knew he was cheating. Uh -oh. Ooh. Somebody's in trouble. Yeah, you know, uh, and, and, and I've heard something very similar about, about the guy that came out to clean out the septic system come out and the husband, you know, met a Marin guy comes out and pulls the lid and just looks down in there. And he's like, man, look, there's hundreds and hundreds of baby stoppers in here. And he said, well, I uh, don't know why I can't have babies. Can't and been able to have babies for years. It was just him and his wife that lived there. Yeah. That's going to lead to problems. Cedric says, could you explain what a trap primer is? Absolutely. Uh, a trap primer is a device that goes on a water line close to a fixture that, that creates a jolt like a hammer. Because when it detects the pressure movement balance like that, it makes it drip in it a few times. And that trap, that line goes down and over to the trap. What it does is it keeps water in a trap like in a floor drain. And maybe that floor drain doesn't get mopped a lot. Maybe, maybe the room doesn't get mopped. Maybe water doesn't get in it. So what it does is it keeps water in that trap so people don't get sewer gas smells in it. That's it. Do you know much about plumbing? Do you do, you do plumbing or have uh, you? Or? I don't know much about uh, about plumbing. I'm more so on the drain cleaning side. Oh, no, I love it. And uh, that, that's a huge part of plumbing. Uh, an orange that a kid flushed down the toilet. Uh, I want to begin to explain what I pulled out of the lines working at a prison. Mr. Wilson, I believe it. Uh, the importance of being says I pulled out a wedding ring and an anniversary ring, cut the line in the yard and pushed it out with the camera. You know, in a situation like that, guys, I can understand pushing with a camera. When somebody's left a brick down in there and I ain't talking like a brick you build a house with and, and it, and it stopped everything up. Don't, don't use your, your, don't use your camera to push all that through. It's not what they're made for. 1983 high school graduation ring. That may be mine. I can't find it. Oh, I graduated in 82. Sorry. Uh, Adrian Leva says, I once pulled out a 
top from a sewer line. Mm -hmm. Question the woman. She told me she found it in her boyfriend's car and it was ours. Once pulled out a oh, crop top. Ah, yeah. I'd be telling that wasn't mine either. Just saying. Uh, Cedric, uh, it allows a continuous flow to the trap so it doesn't dry out. There we go. Norton Plumbing says, found some Tiffany earrings once. Got a massive tip for retrieving them. Use the backhoe to rescue earrings. Yeah, if it's that far down, you're going to use something. But, you know, think about it. We're talking about, not we're talking about, we're, we're fixing to give away a camera with a locator, with the sign in the head, or you can actually activate the whole line to notify you. You run that camera right up to the Tiffany earrings, use a locator, and you say, ma'am, your earrings are three foot, 11 and a half inches below that dot I put on the ground. How much do you want to pay me to get them? And, and I mean, r really, at the end of the day, that, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it's where it really is. Simple. I can get it for you. Which is cool because I shot a video today about giving people options. Do you give them an option? You know, I can try to run a cable for 84 hours to see if I can get lucky and grab it and not tear them up while I pull them back. Or do you just want me to go ahead and dig a hole? Uh, Versputin, I just see a, a comment over on the live side. It's not too late. I'm going to tell everybody here in about the next 10 minutes what we're going to do to register. <clears throat> Getting fun. Hope I do it right. Joe Rainey says, I'm a homeowner. Been watching you for a minute and learned a few things from you. It's nice. Joel, thank you very much. Joel, it's funny because this is how I started my channel. This is why. I literally started my channel to help people learn to fix their own plumbing at home. I thought, you know, here in Texas, if you are the registered homeowner, if it is your homestead, you are legally allowed to fix any plumbing in that house you want to. As long as you pull a permit, as long as you get it inspected, just like everybody else does, like a plumber does. So my thought is, you know, man, I'm going to make videos to teach people how to fix their own stuff. And I thought it was really, really cool. But then I started realizing, man, I got a lot of plumbers getting in here. Like Sean Strong, Steve Arloa, and cool plumbers. And it's like, okay, I need to change my game a little bit. So I still talk about how to fix your own stuff, but I always also look at it from the plumber's point of view. What tool would you use to locate a break in a sewer line? And if you're a plumbing company and you do drain cleaning, why wouldn't you run a camera every single time you clean a drain? You've probably got a 60 to 70% chance there's a break, there's a belly, there's roots, there's something. Maybe more than that, depending on where you live. So. Joel, thank you. You're why I started doing what I do. Plumbers are why I've grown into other things. And then later, <clears throat> I realized, man, I've got a lot of people in here that aren't plumbers. But the content that I make helps them. So that's when we went to Roger Wakefield. So, again, thank you. Josh found a chipmunk. Which one was it? One of the three of them? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that pretty See? Good. Megan says, I've seen a squirrel. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I, I read that real fast, and I thought you said, I've seen a squirrel's underwear. And I was going to say, wait a minute, I'll back this puppy up. Uh, <laughs> Megan says, him. he's seen squirrels, underwear, a rabbit's foot, and a lot of weird stuff. Huh. Yeah, so you're probably the only one in here that could really talk about the weird stuff instead of us. Norton Plumbing says, a kid flushed the box. Don't know which box, but. Man, my little brother used to flush anything in the world he could down a toilet. And the funniest thing I ever remember was my dad had this cologne in a glass bottle that looked like a duck. And somehow my brother got it down in there where, yeah, look all the plumber to get it out. A half a towel once or a big washcloth, lady ran out of toilet paper. You know, and that was happening a lot. I mean, guys, if you think about it, that was happening a lot back when, man, across the country, we couldn't get toilet paper. Uh and people are using anything and everything. Sewer line stoppage every other day. It's like, okay, here we go. Joel says, or a flying squirrel. Uh, <coughs> Janga says, I got a dead rabbit. Uh, South African things. Then on a St. P trap, found a found stacked sheep fats. Well, we get all kinds of weird stuff over here and stuck up in the P trap, I promise. Two chicken breasts in the toilet trap. Now, 
I wonder if you just swallow them whole. <laughs> it, okay, see, that's why I should not be doing this because the stuff that goes through my mind, it just didn't work. Ed Con, I love it, brother. Corn. <laughs> yeah, we find that every day, don't we? Uh, Frank says, I had to shave my beard. Uh, I grew up for three years from a sanitary tea line pouring on top of me. Oh, yeah, I just I did shaved it off too. Dan Smith is removing five towels out of a sewer line for a jail. Uh, Thomas, the tank engine. There you go. Bars are the worst sewer calls. Free beer, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right, man. You find some nasty, weird stuff in a bar. I've done that for a while. Uh, talk about that eight inch clay line. Pull a Russian nesting doll style princess doll out of the horn of a toilet. All right. I'm going to. Let's pull up that video one more time. Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to talk about the, the Milwaukee camera. <clears throat> cool thing about it, it runs on the batteries we've already got. Uh, most of y'all already have the batteries in your truck. It also comes with batteries. comes with two new batteries and a charger, right? Two new batteries, a charger. Yes. It, you don't have to find a place to plug it in. It's The whole thing's wireless, including the monitor. Um, connect through your tablet or iPhone uh, using the mobile app. Uh, it's just, yeah. Okay. Uh, qu question. Can you plug it in? Does, uh, does it have a power adapter with it? You cannot plug it in. You can plug okay. the monitor into the right. camera. System. I remember saying that. Okay. Yep. Just asking yep. guys. Yep. I was so happy about this. I literally, I wanted to tear my box open the day I got it. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna wait. And I'd look at it every day when I came in. I'm like, I might just go ahead and do it. But, but see, yours is actually sitting. I don't know if y'all see it right down here on the floor and, and you can see the top. Watch this. I'll make this comment go away. See that that is the there top is. of your camera right there. Uh the locator I got outside. Uh it's still in the box. It, it was on the display for the video, so it looks really, really good. So I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down the bottom just because just I'm not worried about comments anymore. Uh yes, uh, I, I do, I like that. And Richard says plumbers are special. Uh yes, I are. I mean, yes, we are. Sorry about that. No, I'm joking. What we all are. I love it. There you go. Charles May says Chip or Dale. What was the other what was the other Chip chipmunks day. chipmunks name <laughs> i know see i know my mind guys i'm sorry I, it's just the way my mind goes uh it is what it is i milwaukee may never work with me again oh we're uh, Lord working it's, with you. It's, it's crazy uh okay so i'm gonna jump right over here so guys look, look at the inside of this now this is a piece of pipe that we pulled out of a house i don't want to see if i can i don't think it'll let me do nah won't let me do anything. Okay. I was going to try to do something cool, but that's not going to happen. 1080p. Yeah, yeah. HD. HD. When you show a customer this, when there's a crack, look along the top of this. Okay. Can you back that video up just a little bit? Right here. See, there's a good shot right here. You say, ma'am, do you see this crack right here on the top? Watch that crack. That crack keeps going. And guys, that really is a crack. Uh, I've, I've got the piece of pipe out there. Now, look at this. You can tag it. You can label it. You can do all. See where it says crack pop? It really is a crack pop. I don't mean a crack pop. I mean a cracked pop. Man, that is just neat stuff. So high definition runs off the batteries, batteries you have. It's modular. So it literally, you pull the brains and the battery out of a 120 unit and plug it right in a 200 and you've got all your information right there. It, exactly. It's got 500 <clears throat> gigabytes of internal me memory for your photos and videos. Uh, from there, swap it between your 120, your 200, uh, you're ready to go. You can really expand your system uh, so that you're prepared for for anything. Um, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, it is freaking cool. Okay, so Norton Plumbing says, once vacuumed up a toy that miraculously made it into the septic tank. It was so big. Whoa. It was so big. Uh, we heard it hit the truck tank. We had to stop the job to get our composure back. Uh, three guys laughing so hard. I get it. All right. So here, now I'll tell, I'll, I'm, and I'm fixing to tell you what we're going to do. Like I said, number one, I hope you're subscribed. I hope you ring the bell. Uh, the link that y'all just want to go check out later is milwaukeetools.com. Milwaukeetool.com. Definitely. Go on there. Learn all about the M18 Milwaukee Modular Pipeline Inspection System and Locator. Uh, tons of great resources on there. It's pretty cool stuff. And this is, this, guys, this is a $9,000 giveaway. Uh, 
you know, we, we started looking at it and it's like, okay, wait, all of this. And like I said, when I called Sydney, she's like, look, I'll, I'll send you locators. Those are great. And I'm like, oh my God, this is just freaking cool. So, uh, Sydney, I have not seen you in here. I'm sure that you've got things going on that are more important than plumbing. Uh, no, and I'm joking. I don't mean it that way. Look, Sydney's the lady that I got to meet and got to deal with and talk to about this. It has been nothing but amazing. Uh, and I mean, think about this. Andrew Ortiz says, don't look at my crack. <laughs> Matt McDonough jumped in. Mr. Miyagi of plumbing. That would be me. Okay, so what we're going to do here in a minute. I'm going to, and it's going to be like a test. I mean, this may be hard for some of you. Don't look at his jacket. Don't look at the box behind me or anything, but here in a little bit, and it doesn't help to do it now. You're going to put in hashtag Milwaukee. And you got to spell it right. I know. He's already covering it. He's, he's, he's already saying the pledge. Uh, yeah, you can look it up. I'm giving you time to Google it. It's not hard. Uh, you're going to put in hashtag Milwaukee and, 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 and you're not going to do it yet. It, it won't even count. My brother, big John, Mr. You do it in the house. Good to see you, man. Mr. Stan Chubek in the house. See, see now people starting to jump in. Uh, you know, I mean, look at our numbers. We got 143 over here, 150 here. Look, we got a good crowd. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you put in hashtag Milwaukee. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in over here. And I don't know if you got a. I don't know if you have to put it in, but it says any user whose comment includes this text will be entered in the drawing. Leave it blank if you want all users. Well, I don't. You're going to have to put in hashtag. See, there they go. Hashtag Milwaukee. Guys, I, to be honest, I think you only got to put it once. I don't think it multi-enters you. Uh, I'm going to see something here. Okay, so I am going to find out how to share my screen with y'all. And this time I got to get it right because I want y'all to see this. Where's my mouse? Way over there. So I'm going to go to share a screen. I know with two monitors, it's hard. So I am literally, look at me. So I'm just going to show y'all what I got going on. Okay. So I've only got, this is funny because I've only got 74 entries. I've got about 160 up here, about 143 over here. I had to look at his shirt and make sure I spelled it right. I thought, oh my God, is there supposed to, I thought, is there supposed to be two L's in there? And I don't know why when I looked at that, I thought, oh my God, I did it wrong. It's kind of a funny word. Uh, you know, but, but hey, it, it's, it's all about what it is. Uh, yeah, there we go. See, yeah. see, now it's all about us. And I don't think I can move that. I can't do anything. Uh, so here's what I'll say. Number one, you got to be a plumber. You're going to have to be able to prove to me you're a plumber. Uh, that you do plumbing for a living, uh, that, that, that you do what you do. Uh, I hope you're subscribed. If you're not, well, we may have problems. Uh, I hope you've liked this. I hope you give me a thumbs up on the video. I hope you've shared it. I hope, you, I hope that you've done cool things. Now, I'm going to tell you all, just because I don't know, and Don Johnston, I'm looking at yours. I put hashtag capital M. Not sure if you have to or not. Uh, I don't know how this works. But man, what I'm going to tell you is if I were you, yeah, see, I would put in hashtag capital Milwaukee, capital M Milwaukee. Uh, and I'm going to give you all another couple of minutes to do that. Hopefully the winner's in here. Uh, I mean, you're just now putting in the things here. So hopefully the winner's in here. Uh, if this is, if the winner's in Hawaii or Alaska, since that's not part of the continental United States, I'm going to ask Milwaukee to fly me out there to deliver it in person. Ho I might come hopefully with you. Hawaii, hopefully. you know. Uh, anyway, uh, we've run in that. We've actually had winners in Australia before. And it's like, oh, God, why did I do this that way? <laughs> so you, you got to be part of the continental United States. Uh, if it's Hawaii, we will work a deal, Mr. Steve. Uh, I, I may bring it tomorrow just to get away. Uh, 
you got to be a plumber. You're going to have to prove it uh, somehow, some way. Uh, you know, man, th th this is a great tool for a plumber. It can change his future, change his career. And I say his, I mean women too. Please don't take that wrong. Uh, I, you know, I, I really do a lot to support women in the trade. So I hope y'all know that. Uh, okay, so we're having fun. Uh, let's keep going the way that we are. We're up to 118 entries. Man, I think that we should be up to about 140 or 150 by now. Uh, so I'm going to give you all another couple of minutes. And then I'm going to hit a button, and we're going to do a giveaway. Have you had fun? This has been amazing. Yeah, it's been a great opportunity not only to meet you. I'm so, I was blown away when I came to this studio in terms of what you do, uh, the effort that you put in and the team that you have here. And when I asked you, do you like what you do? You said, oh, my God. I, I like helping pl other plumbers. The, you, bet, you know, I have got the greatest job in the world. I, I, and, I, and I really think I do. I do love what I do. I, I think y'all know. I think I think that's why y'all come back all the time. Uh, I, I love what I do. I, I think it's phenomenal. Uh, and I'm going to put, and I don't know if I put it in, if it'll let me, if it, if it draws me, we'll just do it again. And, and uh, you know, I'm just, I'm happy. I hope, I hope that the group got to learn some things about the Milwaukee inspection system. Um, and like you said, I really hope that the winner, you know, this, this changes their day-to-day -day life and, uh, Helps their business. So really excited by it. Okay. That's the one I'm trying to get. So that one is there. there so go. I am going to, okay. So there it is up to the top locked and loaded. Uh, I've started. So I, I know it's at the very top. That's what you need to put in. Man, we're, we're up to 131. Give me four more people. Let's hit 135. Come on. Let's do it. I, I, I know there's got to be four more people in here that hadn't put it in yet. So if you haven't put in hashtag Milwaukee, I've got it right there at the top. All you got to do is put it in. All right. If mine wins, I ain't going to tell y'all. No, you're going to see I'm joking. Uh, let's go back to right here because I want y'all to see it. I need two more. Come on. If you hadn't done it yet, come on. Put it in there. Put it in there. We got 151 over here, 163 over here. Our number's getting up. I need two more entries. Come on. Hashtag Milwaukee. There we go. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. As soon as I get it, y'all y'all see the y'all see the mouse right there waiting to hit drop. There we go. We're drawing. Oh. It is going now. Here we go, people. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, did you see my name there? Man, I almost won, y'all. The winner, me for you to view. Man, if you are in here, number one, congratulations. I'm sure you are. Uh man, if you're a plumber, dude, this is gonna be great. If you're not. And I say, dude, men, woman, don't matter to me. Uh, I'm going to have to try to find out how to find you. Uh, so me for you to view. I'm taking a picture of you. I will look you up on YouTube. Hopefully I will find you. Uh, if you're in here, do me a favor. Leave a comment. Give me like your real name or connect with me on LinkedIn and message me there. Okay, y'all can put quit putting the hashtag Milwaukee. <laughs> uh, we finally got 139 entries. So let's do this. Me for you to view. Are you still in here? Everybody slow down. Cause if, 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 if or not, I know Steven says he sounds hot. He may be, uh, I think that Roger Wakefield guy sounds hot too. He's got a sexy voice. Uh, <laughs> all right. Me for you to view. Are you in here? I need to see a comment, brother. If not, if not, we're going to hit draw again. Come on. I need a comment. Me for you to view. Tell me you're in here. Come on. Yes, yes I, I won. won. There you go. Are you a plumber? Just let me know. Are you a plumber? Me for you to view. Yes, I won. Okay, I'll see that. But are you a plumber? If you are put, yes, I are. Yes, I am. You know, we're plumbers. I, I, I'll get it either way. So me for you to view. Okay. I see. I can't believe it. I've seen all kinds of things. Are you a plumber? Are you in the continental United States? Master plumber from New Jersey. Go. Booyah. <laughs> Good deal. Guys, That's man, amazing. I hope y'all enjoyed I, that. Was that fun?
That was so fun. I, I, mean, I think he was a little bit shell shot. Oh, I know. I, know. I, I, I know. I, it's like, wait, wait, I won. That was prize. me. Man, it, it is. It's a cool prize. So me for you to view. Please connect with me on. No, you. And a, I mean, how was it, Rick? Come on. You just watched me do it live. <laughs> Uh, and that's the cool thing about this stream yard guys. I love this when I go live and I, and I do this on so many different platforms. Uh, it is really, really cool. Uh, but guys, I'm going to keep doing giveaways like this. Uh, we, 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 we've done sewer machines. Now we've done sewer cameras. Now I want to give you things that are going to help you improve your business, help you make money. Uh, one thing I'm always about, and I got it written right up there says I'm Roger Wakefield helping you make more money in the trades. The people that get in that aren't plumbers, they listen to me and they're like, Roger, you know what? I listen to you and you use the word plumber and I take out the word plumber and I put in electrician, roofer, HVAC tech, whatever. You help me become a better tradesman. And that's what I'm trying to do. So me too says, wow, I'm blown away. Dude, I, number one, uh, hey, put your name in there. So I'm just quit calling you me for you to view. Uh, Fred, Tom, Rebecca, whatever it is, I, I, I don't care. Uh, uh, I can't wait till you start blowing stuff up. Absolutely. That sounds fun. Uh, you know, it, it, man, here's the deal. I want to do stuff. I don't know. And, and I showed him earlier. We use the the Milwaukee, the 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 power vice, the handheld power vice, the battery operated. Guys, if y'all hadn't seen it, I mean, I built that shop out there with it. The cool thing about it is, man, that's what I threaded every bit of pipe with, with one battery. And it's like, okay, this thing just blew me away. Uh, Steve Arloa. See, great. I got, I got such great people in here. I'm trying to find your comment over here, Steve, so I can post it. And of course I can't. Oh, let's go to the bottom and try to scroll up again. There we go. Steve Arsoloa says, hey, look, congratulations. So happy for you. That's awesome. Best of luck to you and your business. Much love and aloha from Harless Plumbing in Hawaii. And again, this has been great. Nick, I, I want to say thank you very much. This has been phenomenal. Uh, look, we're plumbers. We've been working with Milwaukee forever. Uh, this is good stuff. This has been great. Thank, I appreciate yeah, you th being here. Thanks for having me, Roger. I really hope that you know you got to learn a little bit about our inspection system. Like I said, um, you got to see the clearest image. Uh, it's something we stand behind with our cameras and the easiest inspections. You know, Like I said, you take a lot of time understanding your frustrations on a day-to-day -day basis and incorporating them into our products. So um, I'm always super excited and, and passionate to talk about it. So thanks for having me. It's It's been cool. I mean, when we shot the video earlier, it'll be up not this Wednesday, but the next Wednesday. Uh, so nine days from now, uh, Steven says Nick Pond is a legend. Yeah. Oh, how much do you pay these guys? To, <laughs> why can't y'all say stuff like that about me? I'm not paying enough, clearly. Uh, Meets of uses. thank you all plumbers rock. Uh, Roger, you rule, thank you very much. Yeah. Car you fix it says, Arliss Plumbing, are y'all hiring? Steve, I want a job. And I saw one up here, right here. Jeffrey Wilson says, Hey, Nick, you're more than welcome to come out to Bakersfield, California. Give us a rundown on the new Milwaukee cameras. Love it. Love it's it. It's great stuff. Guys, contact. How, how Jeff, can Jeffrey, people get in touch? Uh, with you? you can get a hold of me directly. You can find me on LinkedIn if you're on there. Um, I would love to work with you. Um, I'm in California. Fairly often working alongside drain cleaners and plumbers, and, and I love it. Um, gives me another excuse to get out of Wisconsin, too. Um, so, yeah, I would I would love that. Shoot me a message on there. Otherwise, you can email me at nicholas, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S, dot pond at milwaukeetool.com. So, as y'all see right here, we have a winner. Uh, me for you to view. Please reach out to me. Connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, man, I definitely, man, this might be a better way. Oh, we're hid. I don't like that. Who hid me? There we go. Uh, that is our big winner. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, please up in the corner there, hit the QR code. That puts you in our Facebook group where we talk about stuff like this. Uh, ups the Great says, got to get one of those cameras. Thank you for doing this. Milwaukee, uh, in it, but love the videos and learning. Thanks. Guys, I love what I get to do. Uh, it allows me the pleasure to get to work with companies like Milwaukee that help do things for us. Look, remember, they sponsored this. They supplied the camera. They're like, look, we want to give it away. We want to help. All I had to do is ask. Uh, it it makes it nice when you get to work with companies like that that care enough about the people that use their tools. So 
Oh, look, Nick Doring says DFW for the win. Next, there we are. Got got another Mr. Uh, there we go. I'll, like, where is it? Yes, got a, another Mr. Milwaukee in the house. Nick Doring is one of the first people that I met through Milwaukee. So great people, good to deal with and stuff like that. Make sure you click on the link below to join a Facebook group. And Sean put a link in earlier to take you to the subreddit, to take you to the Discord group. Guys, this is what it's all about. We get to have fun and, and do the things that we do. So I want to say a special thanks again to Milwaukee. Uh, everything that they do for our plumbers, for the communities that we're in, for education, for getting us the tools that we need to do our jobs better. So thanks to Milwaukee. Thanks to Sydney. Thanks to Nick and Nick, uh, both of y'all for doing what you do. Thank you for coming all the way down from Dallas. Um, I know it's you know not as warm as it normally is, but... <laughs> We had fun and a special congratulations to me for you to view the big winner today. Uh, connect with me on Facebook. I mean, on LinkedIn, I do need to make sure you're a plumber and all that, which I don't think that'll be any problem. And we'll get this to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something that either helps you make more money, helps you improve your tool system. Again, Nick, thank you for being here. Thank you everybody. Oh man, this has been cool. So anyway, I'm Roger Wakefield, helping you make more money in the trade.